three claps your boy swings back back at it again swing swaggy sense and i'm coming to y'all bringing to y'all another video and in today's video i have been tagged and in this tag video i'm going over some black bottle bangers and i have six of them so without further ado let's get into this review the first fragrance that I got in this lineup is going to be from the House of Armoff, and that's going to be none other than Club de Nuit Intense Man. And this is the EDT. Uh, a lot of people from some of the reviewers that I've been reviewing, they're, they're saying that they would prefer the Parfum version um, over this one. But once again, different strokes for different folks, whatever works for you, works for you, stick with that. Don't stay true to that. Um, if you choose to try and go that route and try and decipher which one that you like better, just like some other fragrances, I'm not going to name them because they might be in this list, but if you get it, you get it. But with this fragrance, it is going to be one of the most budget friendly clones of one of the most expensive and pioneering fragrances that they have out to date, which it, which would be Freeze Aventus. And in this, it is harsh. It's hard. If you can get past that harsh couple of seconds, maybe a minute, you won't worry about anything else because everything is going to settle into your skin, your clothes, that well. It's, it's gonna settle into everything that it needs to settle into in order for you to push out this great, great juice that's in this bottle. So, with this fragrance, it has similar notes of Creed's Aventus. So you have like the bergamot, you have the green apple, you have the musk in there. You have some of like, it's, it's real citrus heavy, but also in a masculine, um, in a masculine way where the dry down where that musk comes into play. Uh, it's, it has a little bit of a floral note, um, honestly because of i think the musk and i'm not sure what floral note it is maybe patchouli i'm not quite sure but it does have this undertone of floral in there just just to make it a little bit more interesting i would say this is a 10 plus hour fragrance you're definitely going to get compliments no matter where you go i can promise you that this is readily available i don't think they're getting rid of these uh bomb fragrances that are from arm not that i not that i hear of you know they're pushing out a lot of middle eastern fragrances right now so i don't know if some of the things or some of the uh perfumes are going to be uh xed off like some other we're not going to name any but some other folks and companies that are starting to knock off some stuff too here this is a fresh spicy mature business casual everyday driver everyday wear it's non-offensive you're you're able to wear that in the office you're able to wear it at a date night a meeting it's all around good scent you can wear this all year round in all seasons and it's inexpensive you can get it for 30 maybe 30 plus dollars that's that's low low you know and you're compared to the more expensive creed line you know so you you have to pick whatever you choose to pick guys pick whatever you choose to pick pick but once again that's the first in this black bottle banger and that is club date in the weeds intense man and this is the edt as you can see this was supposed to be glued on but as time passed on, uh, it wanted to break loose from the chains, you know? So it wanted to be free and liberated. On to the next fragrance. The next fragrance that I got in this lineup, uh, Black Bottle Bangers, is going to be from the house of YSL, and that is going to be YSL's Le Parfum. And let me tell you with this one, I, I've smelt the EDP. That is more of a lighter and uh, I would say more brisker fragrance. It's still, it's still a great fragrance, nonetheless. But this one, it's, it's just deep and rich. It has that juniper berry. Soon as off that initial spray, that is just kind of like 
just you want to you, you just want to imagine the fruit and just eat it and when you have this on that's what people are going to want to do when they're around you so you be careful with this it has that juniper berry it has the albinum it has the geranium like it's it's literally a, a scent for the the guy that wants to make a change in the world and wants to make noise in the the room that he sets foot in this is an eight to ten hour uh fragrance that lands on my skin you know in terms of the longevity uh the scent bubble i will say hands down for the first maybe three hours i it's, it's super strong like i I, I've have I have I'll have people around me, and they just want to keep following me. That's this is a great fragrance, and so glad that I was able to uh, get this. And it was actually a gift, so shout out to y'all. And I, it's, man, I know that they have the uh, YSL EDP Intense version. Um, I've seen reviewers talk about it and saying that it's a little bit lackluster. Once again, like I said in my previous video about the intense and extreme, you, it's only certain ones that you can kind of pull off with. But this one, the Le Parfum, the YSL, this is this is that. This is that. You're probably going to be spending over a hundred dollars, but for the quality and you know you don't need that much of sprays on your body, this can last you almost a couple years even more than two years so but yeah but once again that's YSL's Le Parfum on to the next bottle so the next fragrance that I got in this black bottle banger lineup is going to be from the house of Azaro and that's going to be Azaro's The Most Wanted and in this bottle right here it has some dynamic juice i tell you and it it just it only has three notes it only has three notes and these notes work okay you have you have the amber you have the amber wood excuse me you have the uh toffee note in here and you have the cardamom and that's literally what it is but when you smell it it smells like this sweet caramel rich dark you know um gourmand pastry place and it's not sickening sweet to the point where when people smell you they're going to get nauseated it's like right at the perfect spot right at the perfect spot this juice was you know uh mended together with these three notes and in its finest glory this is what the outcome is and if you have this fragrance you should know and you should tell everyone else around your circle that that know as well that this scent it's gonna it's gonna be on your skin for 12 plus 12 plus hours and the next day and the next day this is such a great scent this is like I was just mentioning, 12 plus hours on my skin. This is a banger for the uh, cooler and colder weather for these months that are coming up. And you can still, well, right now on FragranceNet, I looked it up and you can't find it. They're, you know, they're out of stock on FragranceNet, but maybe on Fragrance by CA, they might still have it in stock. Or if you get lucky with uh, a fragrance such as this being on a rack store at Ross or Growing to Co Factory or any other retail retail store then you lucked out but this was pretty inexpensive as well you know like you're looking at um depending on what size you're looking at maybe like 60 70 dollars and uh it's definitely something that you need it's definitely a black bottle that you need all right so once again that's the Zaro's the most wanted on to the next fragrance so you already knew that i was going to put this in the uh, lineup of black bottle bangers and obviously y'all probably tired of hearing it and seeing it but guess what it's going to be the talk of the town it's going to be the talk of the fragrance world and that is going to be from the house of dior and that is dior savage and hate it or love it 
it's still gonna be in your collection. It's still gonna be the one that you would pick up. It's like a dumb grab, but a smart grab because you're always gonna get compliments with this. People are going to uh, like how you smell. And let's let's hit the, the note card because I definitely messed with that spray. But funny enough, it's hard to miss with the spray because of how pressurized the sprayer is. It's definitely a great distribution. But back to this, it has the heavy embroxin, which is the powerful boost that pushes out to people for them to uh, be able to get their attention drawn to you. Then it has the lemon. It has the, the bergamot in there as well. Very citrus heavy has a little bit of a, a musk undertone that makes it that much more um, suited for the people that are suited. And even if you weren't suited, you can still wear this every day. You know, once again, like I said, dumb grab. This is an eight to 10 hour fragrance. So even if you were just to throw this on, it's, it's gonna last on your skin for almost majority of the day, depending on how long your days are and this is always readily available. You're never going to have this out of stock, and if it is, then people are going to be happy because they're tired. I know that they have the uh, Dior, Dior's Elixir that's been kind of popping right now, but if this fragrance is thrown off the map, I think a lot of people are going to be upset because this is kind of a pioneer in, in terms of uh what cologne for men and bodies you know and yeah you can't go wrong with this this is a black bottle banger so once again that is dior sauvage the edt the edt so the next fragrance that i got in this lineup is going to be from the house of prada and that's going to be prada luna rosa black and just for the record i know that some people have been saying that they have been Xing off certain fragrances and taking them off their, uh, the sites and things of that nature. And that might be the case, but it's for some reason, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a marketing scheme, I believe, for each company in terms of they'll uh, rip away a certain fragrance that a lot of the community loves and for a certain price. And then they bring it back to heighten up the price because why not? people are still going to buy because it was a craze and unfortunately sometimes when they do heighten it up then you have the reformulations you have it's not stronger it's not as strong and all these other things so uh, because i only say that because i had went window shopping and i had gotten um you know uh, a fragrance that i'll be doing a re review soon but i've seen a lot of the prada luna rosa black bottles within the drawer so if you're going to retail stores you're going to be paying a retail price but it's still available you'll still be able to get it like and if you pay and if you don't mind paying the extra you know couple of dollars whatever amount of dollars that is then you're gonna you're gonna turn out it's gonna turn out good in your favor right so so with this fragrance it starts off with the bergamot. It has the musk in there. It has the tonka bean that makes this smell like it has character, but also it's a very mysterious character. This is definitely a seductive and alluring scent. You're, you're going to get really warm, real cozy, but also dark. Hence, you know, the black bottle is dark, but it's more so of a sensual type of scent. And this is great for date nights. This is great for um, cooler weather. I'm not sure if you can really pull this off in the hotter weather because definitely going to kill people with how uh, potent and strong that tonka bean and the uh, the powderiness that might not do well with your skin chemistry and the heat. So it, that's why we that's why they make certain fragrances in order for it to be like climate control fragrances, you know. So this lasts for me 10 plus hours. Definitely have a sillage. Def people are always asking me when I wear this what I'm wearing. It's nothing short of a masterpiece nothing short of a masterpiece and if you have it you know 
If you don't, you gotta know. And if you wishing to get it, get a sample. Because sometimes, once again, people are not gonna like what you like and that's fine. And maybe they might come back to it. And that's, that's another thing, it's just like, sometimes something that you may not like now, you may like in the future. So it, it, it becomes a, a patience and a uh, an optimistic way of thinking, especially if you bought a product or if you've gotten a job or if you're or if you're in a relationship, it doesn't matter. It's just kind of those things where it's just like things will grow on you, you know, figuratively speaking, you're not we don't want any type of illness or anything growing on you. But y'all get the picture. But with this, this is a great fragrance. Second to last, Black Bottle Banger, Luna Rosa Black by Prada. On to the last fragrance, guys. So before I break down the uh, last bottle within this lineup, gotta give a shout out to my boy Trev on TZ Fragrance. Gonna hit him up right here, as well as below. And I gotta also give it out to uh, my, my boy, the OG, the one who's best dressed to impress. T smell good. I'm gonna put him right there as well as have him down below. These guys know their knowledge. They're well suited and booted, fresh to death, and you're gonna you're gonna be very enlightened by the information that they give you on a certain or particular fragrance. So, so now we come to the last fragrance. The last fragrance is going to be from the house of Roberto Covelli, and that's going to be Womo. Womo. And with this fragrance, there's something about this fragrance because for me, it's really heavy in that floral. And I think that comes from the violet that's in this, but it also has the musk and it also has the honey that if a man were to wear this, because you know, sometimes certain men don't like heavy florals or heavy sweet fragrances but if it's meshed well together then and you wear this you are definitely confident within yourself definitely unisex fragrance anybody can wear it it's better for the cooler weather i'd say and definitely a seductive scent for tomorrow which is valentine's day this i get about six to eight hours on my skin Got a nice little scent bubble for about an hour, but then it becomes like a, a skin scent and I'll have somewhat of a sillage, but it, for me, like this is definitely something that I would rock out if I just wanted to wear this for like the whole week. Like say for instance, you know, we have these weekly rotations and everything like that, but I think once you get in tune with one fragrance and you keep using it and as you've seen some of the, us reviewers talking about the bottles that we kind of almost like drained dry. Those are the ones that we kind of um, put a lot of time into wanting to get to know the fragrance and how it sits well with you and your skin. But this is definitely a good pickup, still readily available on your uh, discount stores. And I will also say that you better get it because they're already knocking off some bangers in the Roberto Cavalli line. So if you don't have any of those other ones that have been knocked off, I would I would recommend you to try and get this. It's 30 plus dollars. It's still relevant. It's still prominent. It is irresistible. It's just everything that you need in the bottle. And the bottle is slick too. So once again, for the last bottle of the black bottle bangers, that is Roberto Cavalli, Womo. So that's the list of the Black Bottle Bangers. Gave y'all six of them. Let me know if you have any of the uh, fragrances that I had just mentioned in this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment to your scent of the day. Let me know what you're wearing. Let me know what you're rocking. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.